Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you're looking behind me, that is Tinkercad. My friends, I've got an idea for how to take a 3D printed object and run it through the Glowforge. So let's get cracking. So the design I want to play with is called the Happy Crab. Now I have taken this Happy Crab and I've did some trickeration so it's branded and has my HL Mod Tech on it. I am going to ungroup it. And I'm going to simply hide those words because I don't want to laser cut the words. That doesn't make sense to me. But I do want this fun design to be something that I can cut on the Glowforge. So watch this. Export SVG. I'm going to call it Happy Crab. I'm going to put a one after it because I have already started this project once. And now let me show you what we do in Inkscape. So friends, this is that Happy Crab. I'm going to double click it, launch it in Inkscape. When it appears, I'm going to maximize the screen and you can kind of see that little light dude. And if you look behind, you can see it says 150 somethings. Well, I know the project's 40 millimeters, so watch this. If I go to document properties, you'll notice that the display units are pixels. If I switch to millimeters and then I close it, boom, now it snaps to the right size, which I find pretty comforting. I'm going to click on the shape, I'm going to go down to the stroke style, and instead of 0.14 pixels, I'm going to switch that to millimeters as well, and I want it to be 0.25 millimeters. So now it is real easy to see the shape we're building. If we click nodes, check it out my friends, there are many, 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 many nodes. We're going to fix that by doing path, simplify, boom. So now it really, really shortened the nodes, but it also filled it in. We are gonna fix that by first left clicking and shutting off the fill, and then right click and set that stroke again. Now you could be done right now and cut all these pieces out, but I only wanna engrave these pieces. So I'm gonna switch back to the selection tool, click path, and I do break apart now I have got the separate pieces. I can then click on them and I'm going to make this faster by doing shift click and shift click and I want to right click on pink because I want those to be engraved instead of cut. I'm also going to fill them. So notice I left click here and I'm going to get rid of the outline by right clicking and I'm going to set the stroke to none. So that way there's more of a gap and it'll grave this in a little bit. I want to make sure these arms are stronger, so let's do one more cool trick. Under path, let's do outset, and poof, it stretches it out just a little bit more so that it's going to be a stronger crab than if we hadn't done that. As I look at these legs, they seem a little bit close. I like how I strengthened the arms. I'm not sure about the closeness of these legs, so I'm going to simply tweak these on my own to make them just the way I want. You can grab the handles and adjust them as you see fit using the node tool. All right, so with it put together like this, let's choose file and let's choose save as. And I'm going to put it in my keychain folder and I'm going to call it HLCrab2. And let's quickly bring it into the Glowforge app. All right, so here you can see my old one. Let's start a new one, blank design. We're going to add that artwork by uploading it. There is the HL Crab 2. And just that quick, he drops into the project. I'm going to zoom in so we can actually see where he's at. Nudge over there, get a better look. And let's set some settings. I'm going to have it cut with my wood setting where I do two passes, speed of 130, 90 for the power, and it's set for the six millimeter wood. I'm gonna grab both those pieces and nudge them down. And then for the face, I'm gonna have it do an engrave. I'm gonna just jump into this five millimeter one and adjust it so it fits what I want. I'm gonna leave it at 850, 70 power's fine. I'm gonna change it to 75 lines per centimeter, one pass and change it to six millimeters. My friends, I'm gonna scale it down just a little bit so I'm sure it fits the way I want. Rotate it a hair so those feet are the way I want. And let's go make something awesome on the Glowforge. Alrighty friends, best part, 
hit that magic button and let it do its magic. There we have it, friends, the happy crab. His little arms are caught with his eyeballs, but I'll peel that off real quick. So they can stand individually, or they can use their eyes to balance on the claws of the other. And as you can see, this is where I learned I wanted those arms to be a little bit stronger. Alrighty, friends, so there you saw just how quickly you can take something into Tinkercad, export it so you can use it in Inkscape and then turn it into something that you can cut and engrave on the Glowforge. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.